Hi, this is John from Flat Cat Gear. Uh, this is a two-part video. The first part of the video, we're going to talk about uh, characterizing uh, stoves and in particular this uh, petrol HX mug from Fire Maple at a system level and why that's important. And the second part is uh, I picked up one of these sleeves for the petrol stove. This is just newly available and I'll tell you what my impressions are of that sleeve. So uh, one of the things I highly encourage people to do is do some characterization in your stove to see how they work. I have a mug with 500 milliliters of water and uh, we control the water temperature to 68 degrees F or 20 degrees C. That's been our standard test. Then what we, then what we do is we do burn tests and what we do is we um, drop a thermometer in there and we burn at different rates and we map out a profile of how the stove performs in terms of uh, time to boil and how much fuel is used. Uh, so here's an example of these two stoves. This is the uh, Soto Windmaster for, uh, this is the Soto Windmaster 3 Flex and this is the Fire Maple uh, Green Peak. And you can see uh, there's a very interesting uh, curves that show up. Now one of the key differences between the two stoves is the Windmaster is a regulated stove and the Green Peak is not a regulated stove and that shows up in the curves. So if you look at the, the curve from Soto Windmaster, it's, it's fairly flat, uniform, and very predictable. For the Green Peak, it's a little bit uh, more variation and it uses a lot of fuel when you turn it full on. Uh, so what does that mean? <clears throat> well, as I've said before, I'm not interested in boiling water fast, but when you use this chart, if your goal was to burn, to boil water as fast as possible, you would select the Soto Windmaster. And you can see in this chart that we're boiling water in uh, under two minutes, and uh, it's only using a little over seven grams of fuel. Now, the interesting thing is if, you, if you're not interested in boiling fast, the Green Peak is actually more fuel efficient because if you look at from uh, medium to low, uh, it's all under six grams of fuel, whereas the Soda Windmaster in this particular system is about six and a half grams of fuel. So again, a little kind of surprising in some cases that for fuel efficiency and you don't worry about time, Green Peak is a better stove if you want to boil water as fast as possible and actually conserve some fuel then the Soto Windmaster is a better purchase. Fire Maple just released this um, neoprene cozy that goes over the uh, petrol pot. Uh, I ordered one. It's about, I think it was $8, something like that. Uh, fairly new. Ordered one, came in the mail. Uh, weighs 15 grams. And so, you know, one of the reasons you would want to add one of these is um, potentially to keep water warmer. Uh, the other thought that people have had is, is fuel efficiency. Uh, the third option is, you know, maybe I can get rid of this handle and just put the cozy over the top and just, you know, grab it on the sides. So we did some testing on this and we actually had some surprising results. Using the Soto Windmaster because it actually has the even performance and we looked at the performance with and without the sleeve and we essentially found that there was no difference. Now that could be due to a couple of factors. One, uh, this neoprene sleeve weighs 15 grams. It's pretty thin. Uh, my guess it's, uh, it's under two millimeters thick. So that could play into it. But if you're looking at fuel efficiency, the sleeve is not the way to go. The second thing, the second thing we looked at was uh, thermal decay. Now, uh, what we did was we brought a pot of water to a boil and then what we did it's it's pretty warm here in southern california it's in the mid 80s so what i did was then i put it in the wind tunnel and i turned the wind tunnel on it's at eight miles an hour so it's getting forced convection to look how fast the pot cooled off and i did that with and without the neoprene sleeve and this is what that particular chart looks like now if you take a look at it, it really shows there's not much difference between having the neoprene sleeve on and having the neoprene sleeve off. And if you go through the numbers, it turns out that on average, the neoprene sleeve is helping by about 30 watts. So 
is preventing the mug from cooling off by preserving 30 watts of, of energy. Now, the reason why that doesn't make sense when you start your boil uh, is if you're boiling 500 milliliters in two minutes, you're using, you're delivering about 1200 watts of energy to the pot. And if you're doing it longer, somewhere in the neighborhood of, you know, six minutes or, or eight minutes, you're down to about the 250, 300 watts. So the 30 watts doesn't play into uh, fuel efficiency when you're heating up your, heating up the water. Um, cooled off, it helps a bit. Uh, the interesting thing is with the HX pot, though, most people are boiling water and putting in uh, their freeze-dried or freezer bag cooking. So it doesn't stay in the pot that long. Uh, but if you're cooking ramen and stuff, which is kind of tricky because of the HX fins, um, it'll help you a little bit. Now, another thing that people wanted to do was, hey, I got a, I got a neoprene cozy. Um, I can just pick this up, you know, after boils, I can get rid of the handle. I can go to foil lid, something to reduce the weight. Again, this weighs about 15 grams. I'm not sure how much the handle weighs, but it's substantial. What we did was we brought a pot of water up to a boil, and then we measured the temperature in the outside of the cozy. And what we found was the temperature at boiling, so the boiling was about 210 degrees Fahrenheit. The outside temperature was 170 uh, F. Now, if you're good at handling hot things, you can actually pick up things in the neighborhood of 145, maybe 150 degrees F. 170 is, is way too hot. So um, if you're looking at buying this as a way to insulate it so you can pick up a raw pot, uh, that's not going to happen. Another interesting thing, and this is kind of a combination between uh, this neoprene sleeve, uh, sleeve and an unregulated stove, is an unregulated stove unless you put out a tremendous amount of energy if you're not, you know, not paying attention. And what happens is you can actually melt your neoprene sleeve. Now, typically, these are good up to about 450, um, but you can see the spots that are melted there. So if you're not careful and you're using an unregulated stove and you're running it too hot, you could burn the neoprene sleeve. I see very little value of buying the neoprene sleeve. Uh, it doesn't help you uh, with fuel efficiency when you're trying to heat up water. It doesn't help you uh, keep the water warmer, uh, not by that much. And also, it's too thin, and once you have boiling water in it, you cannot pick it up with your bare hands. So come visit us at www.flathagear.com.